Get in the picture there. What's up, discoverers? Today we're doing a little something different, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, we're out in an abandoned train yard. We're just going to do a quick video. I'm not going to look at everything. I'm just going to look at a building or two, a couple of towers, show you guys, give you a gist of the area, and uh, check out what we got. Um, currently, I'm uh, a little bit up in the tower. Not far at all because this is like 100 year old stuff, and I am not climbing up this thing. It goes way up there, but. I just came up a couple of steps just to give you guys a view. Look at that, huh? Just to give you guys an idea of uh, what's out here. And uh, like I said, let's go check out a couple of buildings and get my hand out of the way and go from there. Hold on one second while I pause this and climb down before I die. All right, we're back on the ground. There's the tower. You know, if you look up, it's an old uh, light tower for the rail yard. Look at those lights up there, huh? They're all old. And smashed out they've probably been shot out over the years you know people coming back here since at least the 70s that i know of beautiful place though but i mean like i said i am not climbing up this because if you look right here that ladder doesn't even go to the ground it's bolted to that really old rotted wood and the same up top i mean i guess it's bolted to a, a beam up there but you know what that is just one thing that's unsafe that I'm not willing to take a chance on. But again, it's an abandoned rail yard. There is a part of it that is open, a very small section. Back in its day, it was, uh, I believe, the largest rail yard in the Northeast. Um, quite the place in its day. Some old uh, railroad, uh, what do they call them, timbers or whatever to track stuff here. Got a couple more right here. Now let's go check out this building. Now, there is still tracks back here obviously not right here you can see there's a, a bunch of these old uh these timbers or whatever there was tracks all throughout this place it was huge in its day and there's the building right there we're going to check out there's a bunch of these and they're they're all near the towers the light towers i'm assuming they were that there's switches in them i'm assuming they were like switching towers for the for the lights or something also these pipes run throughout the entire complex here there's just literally miles of this stuff i assume they either brought water for the steam trains out to wherever the trains were or maybe fuel I, I don't know what they uh ran out in their day if you know what they were for or what they piped out here you know let me know i've always wondered the remnants of an old uh pole oh this one's got an isolator on it still huh look at that pretty cool it's very cool. Some of them have glass isolators on them, which is really neat. Probably a really old uh, floodlight. Doesn't look that old though, but I guess it does. Get that back. Some of them actually have glass insulators up on top of the poles, like just clear glass, and they're really cool and really old looking. But let's go check out this building. That was the sink that uh, once was up in there. These had a little, it's basically just a room with switches, and it had a little bathroom in it. This was the electrical junction boxes down here. I just got the crap scared out of me with some birds. So hopefully they're gone. Let's find out. I mean, this is their home, so I can't really be mad at them for spooking me. Yeah, these were all the electrical boxes, probably for the, the controls for the lights and whatnot. Like there's not a basement, but there's a little something down there that I'm not even gonna look down. Can't really see much in here. Unfortunately, I don't have a light with me and uh, my light is off on my phone. I don't think I can turn that on. These just go way up. If I come over here, you can look up and see how high they go. That's where the, uh, where the switches are up top. Oh, look. It's even got a, a heating system. Oh, well, I guess so. It's the Northeast. It's Connecticut. And you're going to need heat in the wintertime. But, yeah, the switches, they don't all have switches. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Before I talk. Old fuses. Or, uh, not fuses. Those were uh, breakers, weren't they? Whatever they called them screwing ones i don't know but yeah a lot of them the switches have all been destroyed and smashed up the panels over the years so only a couple of them have a few switches left which is a shame but let's go check this thing out hey you know what how about i take you guys along for the uh for the walk with me this thing's firmly planted on the ground with some rotted metal so yeah we'll be fine yeah let's go these are straight up. This isn't stairs. This is a ladder with a railing. <laughs> All right. Almost there. 
Oh, look at that woodwork. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. It's like an old early 1900s or late 1800s train station, the way they used to look. I'm stuck on branches. All right. Here, hold on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Very old. Very beautiful. And I hope this isn't poison ivy wrapped around me right now. Look at this old, old door. Josh was here in 2017. <laughs> Let's go inside. Woo, this place is destroyed and rotted and really bad. But it's beautiful though, ain't it? Come on, focus. Get to focus, look at that. See right through the ceiling. What's left of the ceiling, I guess. Um, yeah, in the winter time when you come, let me just stand on the beams, I don't trust this. In the winter time when you come here, there is a gorgeous view looking out in the Hamden and New Haven, and you're not gonna see that right now, but here's the room I was telling you about that uh, was just like a little bathroom. This one doesn't even have the switches anymore. They're completely gone in this one. I can't even show you guys. Yeah, it probably added a type of electric heater at some point. This old window. Looks like it uh, flipped up. It was something, maybe a, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Something up there, it's really old. Look at this old wood, huh? This old style paneling here. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, there's the pipe for the ventilation for the for the toilets that used to be here. This was probably the controls for the heater. The toilet was probably right there. Yeah, there's stuff in the back in there. There's some shelves over the toilet there. And then the sink was probably right here. Very beautiful though, very old. Unfortunately, people have been coming here for God only knows how many years and it's been completely destroyed, but that's all right. At least there's parts of it still here for us to look at. Old phone line jack there. Looks like they bent the heating system down and broke that for whatever reason. That must have been fun to do, I guess. Old door. What a beautiful place, isn't it? What's left of the the wooden floors, most of it's all gone, as you can see. There's a little bit of concrete here, but I'm just gonna try to stay on the beams. All right, let's go back out. Might have been a coat hook for whoever worked here 50, 100 years ago. Well, more than 50 years ago. There's more junction boxes up there. Pretty cool though, huh? These old wire, oh, wait a minute, look at this. Look at that. That must have been a breakers at one point. Pretty cool. All right, here's the staircase to get out. Take a look down so you can see just how far down this goes. It's quite a ways down, but I've been doing this for years, so we could do it. And again, there's that uh, train station style roof that I think is really cool, but go look at more stuff. All right, we're back down again. Um, I'm gonna come back and do a better video of these buildings. Uh, I'm just, I only got a little bit of time right now, so I gotta be quick. There's a uh, Old pole, it's still got wires on it. An old pole here. And look, still got wires. Might have been power too, and, and also communications for the building to the main place. So we'll come back when we have more time. If you look, there's just tracks in the middle of nowhere, everywhere out here. Look at this. There we go. Old train tracks coming right up to the building. Oh, this might have been, I know there's a bunch of scales out here, or what look to be old antique scales. I don't think this is one of them, but it was something at one point. Yeah, maybe it is. These are those things I was telling you about that. I don't know exactly what they were. If they were some type of scale or what it was, but it elevates the, or elevated the track off the ground at one time, it looks like. And I don't know. Definitely something cool, though. Got more tracks right here. More stuff. Well, these tracks are gone, but the equipment form, everything pipes and everything going to them. There was a track here, there was a track there. Pretty wild though, isn't it? All right, let's go look at more stuff. Now right here is what's left of the uh, open part of the yard. They got all these new train tracks for the, the new tracks they're putting in around the area. Here's one of those light towers, huh? Beautiful, isn't it? Just gotta catch a quick video of this. This thing's been here for as long as I can remember since I've been coming out here, it's all smashed it all up and looks like it was even on fire at one time but 
It was an old uh, either maintenance train or a train for when they uh, when they're putting tracks in, whatever it does. But look at that, huh? But we're gonna get out of this part. Oh wait, there's tracks down there. You can see it all. Whatever they use this for. But we're gonna get out of this part. We're gonna get back into the woods because I really don't think I'm supposed to be here. And uh, they let us come out here and look at this stuff. I'm gonna respect that and I'm gonna get out of this part where they change. Uh, Change their rules. Look at this, huh? It's old track. Since that train's been there so many years, I doubt there's been anything on this thing in years. The old spray paint cans the kids are probably using to do the graffiti with. There's that light tower that we were uh, we started the video with. And one of the other towers that we showed you a minute ago. I really can't see it too well, but there it is. And actually, this right here is another one of those buildings, but that one we can't get into because the staircase has rotted out and fallen off and you can't get into it. Get to it, but you can't get into it, so check more stuff out. Here's just a quick look at this tower that we can't get in. It's a window up there, but I'm not climbing up there. Just more remnants of what was many, many moons ago. All right, let's get back to interesting stuff. Here's an old, uh, uh, intersection track or whatever they call it crossover track remnants of what used to be a track back there let's go find some track in the woods there's a bunch of track just laying in the woods back here more remnants of uh where track once stood more uh more equipment don't know what it is but it's old and it's cool yeah i found another one of these buildings let's go check this one out real quick see if there's any switches well, again, the switches are gone, but the the panel is here. This this thing in the other buildings has all switches. A little bit left. Whatever this was. I would assume they were for the yard lights. Look at that. Look at these old switches. Huh? Yeah, that's about all you're going to get out of it. A few bunch of wires that came up through the back. Really, really cool. You can tell it had a lid on it at one time. There's hinges back there. This must have been the latch it shut, probably for the weather or whatever. Again, it's got, uh, once it focuses, it's got what used to be just a little little bathroom for whoever was working up here at the time. This one's tight though, huh? Got the heating duct in it. Pretty cool. Ceiling's all grown in. <laughs> Vines. Nature is taking it back. She wants her land. Look at this view though, isn't this beautiful? Look out at the tower, here hold on. Try to hold you up out of the sun. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Tower's over that way somewhere. Let's get back in. Oh, let's look at the ceiling, yeah, same ceilings. Just beautiful. One last view of the building before we leave. And then, this extremely steep, extremely tall, extremely shaky staircase. I will, uh, let's get a look at this window from the outside, huh? Look at that. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you folks at the bottom. Here we are safely down at the bottom. Beautiful building. This one being right on the water like this is... Uh, oh, the stairs are not in great shape. They are very rotted. Very old. An old blower motor up there. More of the same though. Wow, huh? Let's take a look. It's, it's an old shelving unit for something. This is... Uh, in its day it was probably all electronics it's either been just taken out when it closed or scrappers who knows but we're just going to look at a few more things there's a huge warehouse um way out on the other side that we don't have time to get to today we will do that another day uh, when i come back i just wanted to do a quick video to, to show what's out here i'm going to try to get a couple of the tracks in the woods and uh i gotta get out of here i gotta head home but it's just awesome out here. There's so much cool stuff. All right, uh, I'm gonna go this way and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. You can see here, there used to be uh, well, there's concrete footing still. There used to be an old uh, holding tank of sorts, I would assume. There's the old, uh, what used to be probably the control valve for whatever it was. Pretty cool though, huh? Here we have another light tower, really cool. 
probably all the electronics there and you can't even see the top of it from here it goes way up in the treetops it's got a pole huh it's got the spikes in it still when they used to climb the spikes to the top oh there's the lights can you see them a little bit more track this was uh oh wow, look at that There's track here oh, look at this there and there and the tree is just growing <laughs> right through the tracks pretty cool though ain't it that's how long it's been abandoned and this tree is actually growing that big in the tracks you can see it was an old uh switch track here the controls right there for the switch there was another track down the hill here more random train stuff this was uh looks like an electronic switch of sorts in its day mechanical electronic switch i don't know let's see what we got another foundation for what once was a building give you a look there's uh remnants of a furnace down there that doesn't seem to be coming out in the video <laughs> whatever this thing was i don't know but it's really old and really cool looking bunch of pipes maybe it was some type of pump of sorts i don't know maybe it's got something to do with those pipes that are running through the woods maybe this was a pump house go to the edge here there's the remnants of the furnace huh really cool there's one of those light towers that has been completely taken over by nature still stands but nature took it back See at one point, there's a uh, railroad ties here. There used to be a track here. Remnants of another track, just out in the woods. Looking at it from the other side. There's one here. There's still one there. Really cool. It's hard to believe that at one time this was all a hustling, bustling rail yard. You know, I think it was the biggest one in the Northeast. One of the biggest in the country in a day. Oh, look at this. Check this out. There's uh, a, uh, a switch track or whatever they call it. Look at this. Trees are just growing right over it. And look at this. Just in the middle of nowhere. Your, uh, where you switch tracks here. Isn't that cool? It's like uh, controls here. That used to switch the track. Got the lever on it and stuff still. And then, you know, there's another switch track just going nowhere. And then these are cool. There's old fire hydrants back here all throughout the place, which shows you that even though it's the middle of the woods, it once at one time was, uh, was something. An old cellar for whatever. I'm not really going to go too around this thing, so I don't know how sturdy the ground is, but I just love this stuff. Isn't it beautiful? Just amazing out here in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Here's some of the markings on that switcher. If anybody knows uh, stuff about any of this stuff, maybe you can identify what it is or when it was or anything with those numbers. Down a little farther and I found more, uh, more crossings here or whatever. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Here's uh, the piece they use to actually switch here let's go over here and take a look look at that where the different lines used to go off different ways and it just goes into nothing just woods <sighs> there's a skeeter on my phone and this i believe was uh just a drainage ditch i would assume a lot of mosquitoes and bugs so really no reason to go in there we'll just get a look at it it's even got a a lower section to it there but when you look in the lower section you can't see out the back i think it just goes underground somewhere so we're not going in there but that's all that it's concrete structures out in the middle of nowhere now we're out of the woods area give you a little view of the uh the marsh area it's absolutely beautiful out here this old rim i found huh wow really thin and really old that is very, very old. Here's just uh, more of the surrounding area out of the woods. There's Sleeping Giant right there. There's his head, his chest, and his legs. That's why they call it Sleeping Giant. And then just absolute beauty. Can't see much with the sun, sorry. 
but it is so peaceful out here and you know back up into the woods and yeah start making our way out trail used to go this way but uh as you can see we had to go that way because look at this huh it's years and years of the water and the wind and everything coming up just eating away at it well if you hung with me if you hung with me sorry about that this long uh, thank you very much. There's one more thing I want to show you before we get out of here, and I'm going to end the video. Ooh, maybe two more things. <laughs> There's something right there. Um, but, yeah, one more thing I want to show you, which is, no, that's it. It's right here. Thank you for coming along for the ride, discovering with us. I am definitely want to get, uh, you know, a camera. I'm doing this with my cell phone, you know. I want to get a camera. I want to get some editing equipment so I can make better videos and make more, just more quality videos for you guys. I'm getting a lot more subscribers. I'm almost at 90, so... Thank you, but here we go. Look at this. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I ran a little. A little ladder, an old tower of sorts, whatever it was for. That's something we're just going to look at and not go up because I don't want to fall and die. But what I wanted to show you is right here, there is all a bunch of track right along here. You know, check this out. Go into the woods, you don't see much, but you're walking over tracks. Look at this out in the middle of nowhere look at them all all lined up one here there's one there there's the first one we just saw look at this stuff tracks aren't even on the ground anymore look on, there's a bunch of tracks out here look all the ties are gone you can see underneath the tracks now now wild just all these tracks lined up in the middle of nowhere there's another one come over here's even another one and uh yeah try to get a view of it Isn't that wild it's just all train track through here before i end this video let me see if i can get a date i know most of these old tracks have writing and dates hold on now i looked and there's writing but they're honestly just too old and too worn to even read i'll uh i'll figure out a date one of these times when i come back and uh, figure out exactly when these were, were placed here. But definitely extremely old, extremely beautiful. And I just love the fact that this is out here. It's, it's open land, so we're allowed back here and beautiful. But all that being said, I got to get out of here. I got to head home. I got stuff to do. Uh, again, if you stuck with the video this long, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to get better equipment. I'm going to start making better videos. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Let's see if you see a date on it. Nah, nothing down here, huh? Just more tracks in the middle of nowhere, huh? <laughs> but there's also, there's more buildings out here. I don't have a whole lot of time tonight. It, it's afternoon. It's after work. So there's a huge abandoned warehouse on the other end of the property. There's another building that's half underground. I wanted to, the building underground doesn't have too much. Neither does the warehouse, but it's just really cool. It's completely destroyed, but the framing is still there couple of walls uh rotted staircase um there's big uh a hoist or whatever up on a ceiling with tracks that they used to i believe run the trains right into this place it's that big that you can get you know a couple of trains into this old warehouse and either load them or unload them whatever they did uh that i'm going to get in the next video so keep an eye out for the next one once we post it um there was a roundhouse back here many many years ago but that is long gone that that got burnt down years ago. Probably kids playing around. Who knows what the deal was. I think it was arson they figured out. But that got burnt down in the 70s or 80s. But, you know, I mean, you got a 100-year-old building that's most likely soaked in oil. And, you know, you play around in there. And that's the end of that. That place went up. And, unfortunately, it's completely gone. I know where, about where it was. So I'll go out and check out the area. But I think it was right next to the warehouse, to be honest with you. But we'll go out there. We'll check it out. Again, if you stayed with us this long, thank you for watching. Thanks for discovering with us. And, uh, you know, tell your friends. We're going to make better videos. We're going to start doing better places. And, and we're going to have a lot of fun. You know, it's summertime. And I'm really enjoying this. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And, you know, now we're doing it. People seem to be enjoying it. So I'm just going to keep pumping out the videos. I'm going to keep doing new, interesting, cool stuff. You know, abandoned buildings like this. Abandoned areas. We'll do uh, car videos. You know, builds we're working on everything a little bit of everything but thanks for watching until then you have a great day and uh look at that isn't that beautiful i'll just leave you with this uh 
serene scene here on the way out. Thanks again for watching, friends.